Okay, we are back in Sentinels the Multiverse, and it is time for Vengeance. So with the actual Vengeance mode out of the way, it's time to showcase the heroes. So we want Naturalist, Parse, the Southwest Sentinels, Setback. And then we did Freedom Tower in the last video, so mobile defense platforms are Environment, and our villain is Choke Point. So let's see... That's Unity. I was looking to see if there was a Nemesis thing in play, because I knew she had multiple ones, I just couldn't remember who all it was. Absolute Zero Bunker Unity. And, like I said in the uh, previous video, I don't recognize Knife's Nemesis here. Naturalist is the Nemesis of Deadline. Parse, Nemesis of Misinformation. Sentinels are the nemeses of the Crackjaw crew, and Setback is the nemesis of Kismet. So, without further ado, I don't know how these four work exactly. I read a little bit up on how Naturalist and the Sentinels work. For Knife and Parse, I'm really in the dark, and then we've used Setback in the past. So let's jump in. Time for you to stand down. Thank you kindly. So you can tell she's supposed to have a thick Scottish accent, which I can't entirely replicate. So if you're not familiar how Choke Point works, this is her second, maybe her third time on the channel because I think she was in a weekly one shot. She enters play on this side up. She'll play the number of face down cards equal to the number of heroes on play. Or no, she if there are five or more hero number face downs in play, she'll flip. Or if she destroys a non-character card, goes face down the villain area. Those cards cannot be affected in any way because other cards can still destroy them when they're hijacked. Um, to give you an example of this, with La Capitan, when she steals anything from Freedom 6 Tempest, Tempest can use his ability to destroy the card that she has to get his card draws. It sounds kind of overpowered, I guess, but it's allowed in play. But you also have to remember at one point Captain Cos well, Prime Ward Captain Cosmic was allowed to have multiple instances of his power in play, but that changed. <laughs> at the end of the turn, she deals the hero target with the highest HP, hero minus one energy damage. On her flip side, she will go back when she runs out of face down cards. Increase damage dealt by choke point by one to targets from any deck with a face down card in the villain play area. Basically they know their equipment, they know how to beat it, etc. Reduce damage dealt to choke point by one by targets from any deck with a face down. Or she has their equipment, that's why she deals more. It takes less. At the end of the villain turn, one face down card in the villain player is destroyed, then she deals the hero target with the highest HP hero plus one projectile damage. Shocking animation. Setback, no! And then real quick to actually look at the defense platform cards, because I don't really know what all is here. We have Battalion Brute, hero target with the highest HP takes a melee and lightning damage. Gunner, each hero target takes one energy damage. This is really bad for the Sentinels. Mechanic, each structure gains one HP. The structures are a little fun here, you'll see. Birth, this is a level card. Destroy other level cards. First time a target enters play each turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Bridge, destroy other level cards. Increase damage dealt to and by environment targets by one. For some reason, Citizen Dawn is here. I don't really know why. Then you can see her various other citizens. I don't remember all their names. This is Summer, I believe. That'd be Hammer and Anvil back here, I think. And I forgot which one this is. Assault or something like that? Or some... Is it Assault or is it Battery? I don't know. Mobile Defense Platform Turbo Lift. Reveal cards from the environment deck until a structure or level is revealed, put it into play, discard other cards, and destroy this card. Propulsion systems. If this card is reduced to zero or HP, everyone dies. Game over. These are what's holding the platform up. We are inside the platform. If the engine goes down, we go down with it. Shield Jenner, reduce damage dealt to environment targets by one. Sky deck, when this card enters play, destroy any other level cards. And just in case you're wondering, you can destroy this with, like, um... Cru 
Squad, what's an example of one that is true? I like the bioengineering beam from Omnitron X. That just destroys an environment card without regard to its HP. This only causes game over if it's reduced to zero or lower. If you can destroy it without lowering it to zero, it doesn't end the game. So as for Knife, deals one target two energy damage. Her cards here are when this card is destroyed, you may draw a card, play a card, deals one target two melee, two energy damage, and you sack the card. Oops. Deal one target three energy damage, she has ten or more HP, she deals it two energy damage, which I may use this turn. Flawless execution with her tar uh damage dealt by knife, which is target one HP. So if you're close to killing them, that finishes them off. I'm not gonna bother here. This would be helpful for someone like Voss, where they have a lot of low HP minions where they might survive by the skin of their teeth. Prime punch at the start of your turn. Ugh. You have to sack the card for that. Deal one target, one melee, and one energy damage. We're gonna do energy burn. So right there we hit her for 5, and then we can follow up with an additional 2. And I just realized I forgot the flavor text. I kind of forgot the one to this one, I don't know if they'll let me flip it again. I guess not. I didn't do this at all in Vengeance Mode because there's just too damn many cards. Maybe like when it's a weekly one-shot, but this is just an exhibition. Too close, you dead, you died at clinker. Naturalist, we don't have any of his forms handy, but we have Bestial Shift. What this one does depends on what form is handy. So if you're in Gazelle or Goat or whatever it's supposed to be, you gain H uh, 3 HP and you can use a power right now. In case you're wondering, all the forms have their own powers. In Rhino form, reduce damage dealt to the Naturalist by 1 until the start of your next turn. So you can use this to tank. Naturalist is no scholar, but he's probably the second best thing. And for Gator, Natural steals one target, three toxic damage, and then you can use the power now. For primal charge in the agility form, that's what I'm going to call him. Agility, defense, offense. Draw four cards. In defensive form, you deal two melee damage. In offensive form, you deal a target, three melee damage. Shift your strength, discarding a number of cards. Draw as many cards you discard this way, you may play a card. It's kind of interesting to get a new hand. And then the Predator's Eye. Increase damage dealt to one target by one until the start of your turn. If you're in Gator form or offensive mode, you may draw up to two cards. The natural steals one target X melee damage, where X equals three minus the number of cards drawn this way. So do I have anything that's not gonna do anything here? This is the only one that would these two. So I'm gonna play this. We're gonna discard this since they don't do anything at the moment. I'm gonna go gator form, so I wanna hold on to that one. Got another Predator's Eye. Unborn Vigor. So I want to play this at the moment, and then we're going to transform. We wanna search the deck for the Deadly Crocodile. Ah, that's kinda of cool, and then we can use its power. By the way, for these cards I threw away, Prideful will meet defeat at the hands of the humble, the naturalist. With a bellow, the gazelle transformed into a massive rhino. I love this guy, Haka. Our enemy is strong. We must be ready for anything, the naturalist. And then we have these. Do not rely on your powers. They are merely tools, and all tools can fail, the naturalist. The deadly crocodile. The swimmenters play to uh, destroy the other form cards. Increase damage dealt by the naturalist by one. You may activate gator effects. Power is the naturalist deals one target two melee damage, which we are going to use right now, by the way. Even now, as an apex predator, you still struggle against your nature. Crafty Assault, this is a gazelle card. That's used for popping out and going, so he's actually pretty damn versatile. And as for parts, we have Gage here, you can see misinformation. Look at the top card of the deck, put it at the top of the bottom, draw a card. Possible shot, deal one target, three irreducible projectile damage, draw a card. I think I want to hold on to this one for the moment. Recompile, discard up to three cards, draw twice as many cards as you discard this way. And two recompiles. We're going to play recompile, we're going to sack this, and this. Syntactic analysis. That's a really strong card. I'll read it in a second. 
And we got two of them. <laughs> By the way, real quick. Hold on just a tick. That's a lot to process. Okay, got it all. Uh, um, yes. Good to meet you, Miss Twain. Of course. She's starting to realize who this information actually is. And then for the new cards I just drew, segmentation, or segmentation fault. Discard a card. If you do, you may discard. You may destroy an ongoing or environment card. Really handy card. And then you have syntactic analysis. Select a player. That player reveals the top two, top two cards of their deck. They may play, draw, or discard each of those cards in any order. Yeah, that is so freaking broken. So pew pew. Snap decision. And now this probably reminds you of villain environment since they have their setup card here, they have their hero cards, and so on. So we have good hero, bad hero. Hero with the lowest HP heals. If mainstay is active, he deals one target three melee damage. Most cards are like this. They have for the sentinels. They have one effect, and then if a certain hero is still active, that means they have HP, they are not flipped, then the cards do something bonus. And then we have a signature card here. There's a signature for each member of these. That's basically their special card. We have Hippocratic Oath, which is the signature card of Doc Medico. Whenever he would deal damage, prevent that, or, yeah, prevent that damage, and instead one hero target regains that much HP. So once again, this guy synergizes so damn well with the Scholar, it's insane. Just four minute energy and you just new crap. I'm really tempted to actually just try a game with Doc Medico, uh, Tempest, Scholar, and I have to think of who else heals. I may want Omnitron X for this Innervation Ray, or even uh, Legacy so that I can galvanize and do a motivational strike. It's insane. I'll show all the signature cards in a second, don't worry. Positive energy, each hero target, I believe this is just the Sentinels, but I could be mistaken. Regains 1 HP. The Idealist is active, she deals each villain target to psychic damage. This card is Proletariat's main nightmare because he can't redirect psychic damage. This will hit him and his clones. Restorative Burst. Uh, here is Doc Medico's secret. If he's active, you can flip one of your incapacitated heroes and restore it to 3 HP. Now, the wording on these cards suck. This, I believe, is referring to just one of the Sentinels, but he does have a card that should revive another hero. Each hero target regains 1 HP. So to look in their deck, you have Aura Vision, the signature of the Idealist. Starting your turn with the Idealist active, select one player. That player may draw one card. And then this is not a power. This is just a start of turn effect. This is really, really strong. Trade-off, of course, that Idealist has the lowest amount of HP, so if anything attacks the weakest target, she goes down fast. You have Blackout. If Wrath deals damage this way, then the damage target deals each non-hero target two infernal damage. So, guys that have lots of targets, this would be like Gloomweaver, Voss, and so on, you basically get them to turn against each other. And this is actually really strong against the Chairman, because you can have, um, the operative hit everyone. She can hit the chairman for nemesis damage, the chairman counterattacks, he deals her nemesis damage. It's broken. Caligna's form. This is Wright's signature. The first time Wright would be dealt damage each turn, reduce that damage by two and redirect it to the villain target with the highest HP. So if you know a massive nuke is coming Wright's way, you can use this to just turn it away. So yeah, if you don't get the gist of the Sentinels, their cards are really, really strong because they are squishy as hell. Here you have the Durasteel Chains. This is Mainstay's signature card. Increase damage dealt by Mainstay by one, reduce damage dealt to him by one. And then there are a couple interesting cards they have beyond that. Human Shield I'm not familiar with. Okay, so you can use this with his Durasteel Chain to really mitigate some damage. Problem is you have to sack some cards to keep that going. And here we go, Sentinel's Tactics. This is probably their strongest card. And you can see them beating down the Crackjaw crew here. The first time one of your Sentinels deals damage each turn, you may use a power. So you get to use two of their powers each turn with the 
this is going in. It's an ongoing card, so as long as this doesn't get destroyed, you can keep doing it. So right here, we don't need the heal. We don't need the heal. I'm going to play Hippocratic Oath just because I don't have anything else to play at the moment. So Ryan, reveal the bomb card of the deck. That's helpful for Tachyon and a couple other ones where you want to fill up their trash, but not here. So we're going to use Idealist Telekinetic Jab to deal some damage. It's probably the most common power we'll use. Coordinate Assault. There we go. I don't know about you guys, but I'd say things are looking up. By the way, since Setback's been out for a little while, I'm assuming you know what his cards do, but... Move a number of tokens from your unlucky pool. He deals three melee damage based off that. Karmic Retribution, you can pop someone for seven damage or heal if you have seven unlucky tokens. Turn of Events, remove five tokens from the unlucky pool. Each player may use a power now. Unfortunately for the Sentinels, this is just one of them. Although, if you have Sentinel's Tactics active, you should be able to use Idealist Power that will deal damage, which will activate the Sentinel's, or Sentinel's Tactics, and then you can use one of the others. Then he hurts himself. And I think I just realized... So, now that that's over, let's all just get along, okay? Dr. Medico. So, I believe that's Chrono Ranger fighting Expatriate. And I read her stuff, I think. Man, good thing that window was there to break my fall. And these guys, too. You can see the chairman is not amused. So, looking up. So, as things stand, this is going to be a pretty fast game because we took out a good portion of her HP there. And, of course, it's the friggin' propulsion system. I don't know if she can annex that or not for us. Power self-repair, heals five... I hope she doesn't do that again, <laughs> otherwise it's over. So let's do the uppercut. Then we discarded Metal Grasp. Then we're gonna hit her. It did come up when I clicked her. Energy burn. And I just realized once again I need to get in the habit of doing this. Enough with the train havern, alright. She's punching Fright Train through the wall. Increased damage dealt to choke point. And now I'm cool. I just want to deal some pain. And then I want to deal some more pain. Oh right, this gives me two power uses. And I have to put it into play, so I do not want to destroy the gator at the moment. So this is pretty good. I want to get that out next turn. So, this one, we're going to give this to the Sentinels. Draw four cards, you may play a card. We want to play this. That's another one of their strong as hell cards. Horrifying Tectonomy, Dark Delusions. That's the whole beginning of the whole the Sentai thing, and Aura of Vision. Wow. So we're going to put this into play immediately. Here's the situation. You know what to do, Arse. Flicking the darkness, one of your heroes deals one target three melee damage. That target now has four or fewer HP and Ride is active. Destroy that card. So we're going to play this. And we're going to... We'll have Ride deal the damage. We're going to hit this because I want to kill it so it doesn't die. Yeah, that made a little bit more sense before I said that. 
Let's kill it so it doesn't die. Got the buffer overflow. I actually want to read what that does because I'm not familiar. When a villain card would underplay, you may discard it and destroy this card, but that just causes them to play the next card. So, let's see. Coordinate Assault. Number of active hero cards, plus one, so they can deal five, six damage with the Gator effect. Dark Delusions, you can see that Idealist has summoned her Megazord. Deals each villain target two infernal damage. If the Idealist actually deals one target three, Psychic. And then, or find Dictonomy. This is Scholar's Nemesis. If Dr. Medico is active, he deals one target three energy damage. If Ryan's active, he deals one target three infernal. So yeah, they basically double team a guy, I guess. And then the other one was Unique Capabilities. Search your deck for a signature art card, put it into play. Shuffle your deck, draw a card, play a card. This is so broken. So I want Knife to draw because I'm not getting good cards for her. That's the one I was actually looking for. So we want to use Unique Capabilities so we can fish out Caligonous Form. Actually, you know what? We'll have Durasteel Chain so Mainstay can deal with more pain. I should play. I know. Team communications. So there's the blackout. Coordinate assault. Restore to burst. Dark delusions. So yeah, we'll do coordinate assault. We're gonna have mainstay deal the damage because he has a plus one from his chains and a plus one from the predator's eye. And we're gonna have idealist puncher. Telekinetic Wallop. And I just realized I forgot to read a bunch of these, didn't I? Okay, team, just like we practiced, knock them down. Hey guys, what you doing? Can I find crime? Can I come? I did all my homework. The idealist. You each have your powers. I have my invention gone wrong. Really, you're quite the team. And then we also have these. Looks like someone's got a bright idea. I had to trade in two of my favorite bikes just to get this chain. So, heal up setback. I'm kind of tempted to heal her just to make this last longer. I don't have anything I can do with setback at the moment, so things are looking up. Another turn of events. Shield generator. Shocking animation. I don't know what that does. I actually have to look at the Durasteel chains to see. Play this card next to an equipment card. If there are none, put this card face down the villain card. It has a maximum HP of 5. At the end of that hero's turn, that card deals each hero target 2 lightning damage. Highest HP is going to be setback, of course. So with the focusing conduit blade, this increases energy damage dealt by knife by one. When this card is destroyed, you get to play an equipment card. Knife has the active power to deal one target three energy damage plus one from this, and then you have to destroy the card. The thing is, this combos with her base ability for a constant plus one. So I can do that. But real quick, sometimes it's not correct to cross swords. Most times it is. Yeah, I can't really do the Scottish thing at the moment. Flawless execution, that's no real help here. And what was her other card here? Prime Punch. So it also combos with this one to a certain degree. Deals up to two targets, one toxic damage each. We're going to do this one just to try to draw out the fight a bit more. This. And then we can do one damage to this because of the gator plus one. 
indomitable force. Synaptic analysis. We're gonna give this to the Sentinels. Son of a bitch. So this is his other revive card. The other one I think requires Dr. Medico. This one you can kind of use to revive Medico if I remember correctly. Now since we know this isn't going to do anything, I'm actually gonna give this card to someone else. You know what? We haven't seen enough of Parse's cards. Quick calculation. the thingamajig. Shoot. We're going to play this, reveal the top three cards of our deck. Put one on the bottom and the other two in our hand. This is the one I want to put on the bottom because I don't like gauge. That gave us data mining. If there are two more villain ongoing cards in play, you may destroy one of them. If there are two more environment cards in play, you may destroy one of them. And we also have exploit vulnerability. Whenever a non-hero target enters play, increase damage to that target by one until the start of the environment turn. So if you don't get this one, this has a combo with Dark Watch Expatriate. So you put this out, you have uh, her, be, her being Dark Watch Expatriate, play her hair trigger reflexes, and then she uses her power. Then whenever something enters play, it takes three damage until the environment turn. Now, in case you didn't notice, villain cards will enter play after the environment turn, during the villain turn. So that gives you basically one free round to beat the hell out of them. So we're going to play this. And we're going to have Knife use a power. So now we're reducing it. Good. Now five centimeters to the left. Perfect. Hit it. And I read that one. Now critical multiplier is one of her signature cards. Whenever you discard a card from your hand, select a hero target. Increase the next damage dealt by that target by one. If you notice, this is not limited, so you can use this to help make your nukes even nastier. Now unfortunately, it's only the next instance of damage, so it's not like that's going to work with the multi-hit abilities like... Um, Fanatic's base power, um, I think it's supersonic response from Tachyon, it's just one thing that you want to make better. And it's text. Adjustments here and there, they add up. So I'm going to give this to the Sentinels because I'm looking for... Oh, uh, right, I need to get those out of the way. So... use this with mainstay. Now it's only going to do six because I don't have the gator ability active at the moment. Then let's give this two set back. Got the other second chance. We can heal set back. Odds are she's going to die on knife's turn if the environment doesn't kill her. Now here comes the painful part. taste of what they can do. You really got to see the Sentinels in action here, but not so much from Parse or Knife. Nashville's got to do a couple neat things, but not nearly what he's known for. And setback is setback. Now, unfortunately, that was fairly brief, but 
mobile defense platform is really an impressive level from my experience. The main thing you have to watch out for though is that turbine hitting zero and then it's game over. But otherwise, it's not too bad. I don't know if it might actually be an easier place than Freedom Tower, I actually have to see. Like the only dangerous thing I have to say about this place would just be the various blade minions that are around, but they're kind of squishy, so as long as you have damage to spare, they should go down. Anyway, that's it for now.